today's lesson, we're going to study multiplication by one-digit number without regrouping. Let's have this one. Five times six. Very good, that's 30. How about two times four? Good job, that's eight. How about this one? Three times nine. Very good, that's 27. How about if you have 4 times 7? Good job, that is 28. How about if you have this 10 times 9? Very good children, that is 90. How about this one? 42 times 2. So if you have this kind of number, all you need to do is to multiply the second factor to the one's digit. Just like this. 2 times 2, that is equal to what? 2, 4. So that is 4. We are going to write 4 at the bottom of 1's place. You need to align it at the 1's place. Is that clear? And then for the second step, we're going to multiply the second factor to the tens digit, which is digit 4. So children, 2 times 4, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. So that is 8. We are going to write 8 at the bottom of tens place. So the product of 42 and 2 is 84. So how about if we have this? 402 times 4. Again, the first thing that you need to do is to multiply the second factor to the ones digit. 4 times 2, that is equal to what? 4, 8. That is 8. We're going to write it at the ones place. And then, let's multiply the second factor to the tens digit, which is digit 0. 4 times 0, that is equal to what? Very good. That is zero. Always remember, children, any number that you multiplied by zero, the product is always zero. That is according to the zero property of multiplication. So now, let's have the third one. Multiply the second factor to the hundreds digit, which is digit four. So four times four, that is equal to what? Four, eight, 12, 16. So we're going to write 16 here. So the product of 402 and 4 is 1,608. Is that clear? So let's have the next number. How about if we have 231 times 3? Again, children, multiply the second factor to the ones digit. 3 times 1, that is equal to what? Very good, that's 3. Any number that you multiplied to 1, the product is the number itself. That is according to identity property of multiplication. Next, let's multiply the second factor to the tens digit, which is digit 3. 3 times 3, 3, 6, 9. So we have 9 here. And then, let's multiply the second factor to the hundreds digit, which is digit 2. 3 times 2, 3, 6. So we have 6 here. So the product of 231 and 3 is 693. So how about if we have this? 71 times 5. Let's multiply 5 times 1, that is very good, that is 5. How about 5 times 7? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we have 35 here. So the product of 71 and 5 is 355. Let's have the next number. How about if we have 321 times 4? Let's multiply the ones, please. 4 times 1, that is? Good job, that is 4. How about 4 times 2? 4, 8. Very good, children, that is 8. How about 4 times 3? 4, 
eight, twelve. Good job. That is one thousand two hundred eighty-four. Is it easy? So now, children, it's your turn. Get a piece of paper, or if you have drill board, you may use it. Let's have the first one. Thirteen times three. Let's solve it together. Three times three, three, six, nine. Very good. That is nine. How about three times one? Good job. That is three. So the product of thirteen and three is thirty-nine. How about if we have two hundred twenty-one times four? Let's solve it together. Four times one, that is. Good job, it's four. How about four times two? Four, eight. Good job, children. Again, what is four times two? Very good, it's eight. So the product of two hundred twenty-one and four is eight hundred eighty-four. So how about if we have this? 310 times 4. Let's solve it together. 4 times 0 is equal to... Good job, it's 0. And then 4 times 1, that is... Very good, it's 4. And then 4 times 3 is equal to what? 4... 8, 12. So that is 12. So the product of 310 and 4 is 1,240.